Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Modeler channel. So this is Raj Kumar for BIM Modeler. So we are seeing a continuous session, live session about Trivet Architecture 2020. It is a basic training uh, which we started uh, a couple of uh, uh, months before. So we are continuously creating content for this tutorial, particular tutorials. And if you are watching through all these tutorials, you can you could probably create your own model as of now as simple as it is so we are creating advanced tutorial as a separate tutorial so we will be discussing that in our channel so if you are not subscribed to the BIM model channels you can subscribe so we are creating the basic tutorial and advanced tutorial at the same time and you can watch uh, multiple uh, disciplines like uh, MAP disciplines and architectural disciplines at the same time in the same place so we are coming up with next as uh, tutorials on Dynamo and Revit architecture. So, if you are not uh, familiar with uh, those topics, uh, you can follow through this uh, channel and exclusively we are going to start with Dynamo on the next series. As I mentioned earlier, so this is our 23rd series. So, from this series, we are going to uh, end up on the topics. We are going to start the uh, next session. From next session on, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, tutorials directly on the projects so from this let's start and live into the projects in this session it is going to be very simple so we going to create a sheet uh, which is uh, in AutoCAD it is called layout we are going to create it and we will be placing all those views what we have created it earlier and we are going to name it and remembering it we will be printing those sheets and we will be using it in our uh, model so we are going to print maybe as a pdf file or maybe directly to the printer whatever the settings that you, you require so at the same time so if you need to export your dwg file or dwf file we will be discussing the same in here so since it's a basic training so it will be in very basic manner we will be discussing about it later in the advanced tutorials also so let's start rivet so I have opened uh, Revit 2020 with the uh, tutorials of sample project which is available here. You can see that the sheets doesn't have any sheets by default. So I have deleted it actually. So you can go under view tab and you can see that seat composition. You will be able to see this panel, particular panel. You can drag it out and you can see it very clearly and you can drag it inside. The sheet panel, you can click the sheet. It will ask us to select the template. Uh, for our title blocks if you are not loaded your title blocks yet they can load your title block fresh and new from here so you have to search your title block locations that what you have to import it so since it's a uh, imperial unit the, the title blocks are in a b c d and e and e1 so if you are looking for metric libraries which is available here's metric and uk templates in our in your locations title block so if you are looking for a3 sheet or a1 sheet so you can select it and say open and you, you, you could see that it is already existing i don't want it to override or it's imperial i can override so whatever that you need it once it is selected and click ok a template will be created and you can start placing your views by using uh, this option particular option place view can just click this and you could probably select the views you need to place it so for example uh, our floor plan views it is level one and add two sheets just click that automatically it comes in your hand the second way around is that you can click and drag the view and drop it into your working space like this so once it is done so you could see that your views got placed and you can use your select by selecting it and you could use your arrow marks to move it the location that you feel it is comfortable same similar way you could drag your level 2 views and place it and it will be placed on the position you could see that there are two elements while dragging one is the the legend that uh, it contains the le value level information tag and you can select it separately and you can move it around wherever you need it so you have to select it as separate or individual so once 
views are aligned you could see that under your sheet it is named as a002 so let it keep this as a001 this will be our first sheet and this is our floor plan similarly you could right click on this particular sheet and you can click new sheet instead of selecting sheets from here new sheet and it will ask us to select again the template select ok now this time you could probably select the other 3d views or elevation views which is available with us and you could go ahead and create this detail views and drag it and place it and you could drag and you can see the constraint line which is coming tracking line you just place it so that it will be aligned one another so you have to don't forget to rename it so if you are selecting it you could see that detailing options like approved by design by these data need to be filled so that the title blog information could be seen so we will be looking at the title blog creation in advanced tutorial in next one so you can uh, as of now you can use the edit option to edit the family so since it's a revit for component family you can edit it by yourself and it is not unnamed you can name it as detail view and create one more sheet and we can say that this is the uh, you can create your uh, rendered views and the names will be or you could create your schedule view there is a planting schedule and if you need any other views such as uh, rendering you can click and drag it and you can place it the location that you needed and you can rearrange your schedules so basically these views are depends on the view settings and the settings which is as crop view or shrinking that scale value uh, depends on all those details it will the size will be determined scale value you have to make sure that it is as per your requirement <clears throat> so that's it once if all the views are set you can go ahead and create your uh, printing of the sheets whenever variable track wise so you have a couple of other settings which is available related to the sheet composition which is a revision and so you could use revisions while you are in the um, uh, sending the model and receiving it back and you have to create your uh, revision to intimate that what are the changes happened in your current revisions you have to use this revision cloud and you have to mention it in this revision dialog box what happened uh, in your model so this is uh, like uh, uh, tutorials when you come back and it will be there and uh, there are other match line options available which will be discussed as separate video for us to understand it very clearly so it will be more helpful and so if you need it uh, start, uh, if you need it uh, in the time time being so you can uh, give a comment below so that I can understand that it is in your requirement so that uh, I can it as soon as, as possible from this let's start into uh, file and you can go ahead and say print so you can select the print option and you could have your printer connected in this place and otherwise if you're not connected and you can you could have your PDF printing options and you can select your PDF printer driving and you can set the elements that you wanted to select or print take nan i want to print only the sheets which is we have created you can select the views you need to print select okay 
and you have to specify your locations that is in our project location is in sheet creation and specify the name will be defined and you have to go back to this space and you have to define the setting as a1 since our paper size it is a1 landscape so everything it is looks good we took page and select ok once it is done you can select ok it will ask us to select the settings or the settings can be uh, saved and it will ask the pdf settings that you what you have it will show us to print it so we're going to print it in the desktop or in your project locations say a uh, basic architectural tutorial which is and sheet creation let's save this and the file name it is bigger and let us wait for these to complete so once it is complete the pdf will open automatically the other two sheets the sheet will appear automatically it will open and it will show us what is what is being printed so this is how you could you print your uh, file the same way you, you could uh, uh, directly send the print to your uh, your pdf drive or the printer that you have so once it is done if you wanted to export your floor plan or uh, if you wanted to export your view directly so you can go to that particular view and you can select uh, export and you can go CAD DWG or DWF file that you needed here and select the DWG file so you can define your own settings such as layer settings color settings and pattern settings text styles uh, everything can be defined over in this place I'm going to use the standard that uh, which defines ISO standard so I will directly take that settings here and say ok and next it will ask me to select the locations that I want to export so I will specify the location as here and select ok the project will be exported directly to that location so if it is multiple projects in the same place uh, multiple links in the same place there are two links uh, there are two views so in AutoCAD you could have uh, one view such as one sheet which contains two model linked in your projects you could go and see that one two three files so the main file will have the two linked file on behalf of it so this Autodesk logo will come inside the title box so it will be linked with that file also so this is how the export happens so otherwise if you wanted to specify particularly the export setting that you don't want to uh, link those models if you wanted to uh, define as a merged file you can define it here export views on sheet and links external reference you don't want to do it so you can select it if you want to downgrade the file, file versions you could do it by here by selecting it once it is done select ok now if you export it the file will be have merged with the same single file you could get a single file of the same model so this is how the export happens so i would like to uh, tell you one more thing that uh, di root add-ins there is an add-in called di roots uh, which spelled as d-i-r-o-o-t-s so which they are creating a free add-ins for Revit which combines uh, we could create a sheet multiple sheets at a time so we could print out multiple sheets at a time so this could uh, make a PDF at a time or uh, NW file, F files or IFC files so simultaneously you could do all the uh, exportings and printings so they are creating as and giving us a free tool so you can go and try it out, out in the Autodesk App Store you can download it and it's free of cost and if you want it you can uh, donate them also so that's it from it uh, on this tutorials uh, as i mentioned earlier uh, the next session is going to be a live project uh, 
from the first one will be from picture how do we model the Revit architecture plan views so that's a first tutorials will be going to and next on uh, we'll be continuing with the next sessions and remaining uh, seven sessions will be on uh, continuous tutorials on Revit architecture directly on the projects so thank you so much so if you like this video do like and share with your learning friends so that they learn it and I, I insist you to uh, do practice practice it daily so you don't have to know all the tools just try keep on trying it so you will be getting know all the tools by uh, in a year or over the period of time so i hope this sessions continuous sessions help you a lot and if you have any questions on the same so you can leave your comment below thank you so much stay tuned bye raj